Hey everyone, I am so excited to share something really special with you today. When I was at Aquashella, I met the guys from Zen Aqua and they were nice enough to send home one of these unique, amazing handcrafted stands with me so that I could do escape. So I decided to do something totally different, unlike anything I've ever done before. So let me show you how I did it. Alright, let's get started. I'm using a five gallon bowl, so I want it to make sure not to overscape. That way I have plenty of space for my special fish. My Higer Nano Sponge is perfect for this size aquarium. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in one of these. I used minimal substrate, again focusing on having more usable space for my fish to get around. This substrate is a mixture of sand and gravel that I took out of my existing tanks to help get the nitrogen cycle going. Used substrate is a great source of beneficial bacteria. I found this beautiful piece of eucalyptus root in our inventory at keepfishkeeping.com and decided to snag it for this project. I soaked it for a good two weeks to help get it prepared for this day. My obsession for house plants came in handy. I'm constantly propagating them and this philodendron worked out perfectly for what I envisioned. And so did another special plant. I decided to take advantage of the wooden arm on the stand so that I could loop the plant around it and give it a more natural look. I did have to use a little bit of string just to hold it on and keep it in place until it's more established. I love these little rocks. I believe they're some type of river rock. My friend Carrie from Science Gal Aquatics gifted me with this beautiful moss she had bought from LRB Aquatics when we were at Aquashella. So I thought it would be perfect for this scape and what I had in mind. I can't kill this. <laughs> Catapa leaves are a must for this setup. The chemicals that they contain are helpful in preventing certain bacteria and also parasites. I really like how they naturally lower pH as well. I picked up this Aquion heater from Petco. I've used this brand in several other aquariums with no issue at all.
looks like it's time to move this creation to its permanent location where it'll be a staple point for my future videos. Carefully using a styrofoam plate, I slowly added water. Treat it with Fritz Complete. Again, another product that I picked up at keepfishkeeping.com. Now I'm ready to add my super special plant, the Monstera Deliciosa, and make my final adjustments. My good friend Joanna from Primetime Aquatics also picked up one of these custom aquariums, and she did a video on her scape. You'll want to go check that out after you're done watching my video, because hers turned out beautifully, and she put something way different in hers. So who is Zen Aqua? Zen Aqua was created by Mike Lafredo, a 25 year old from Long Island, New York. He's been a longtime fish keeper and wanted to create something that would interest other people and get them more involved in the hobby. He teamed up with his dad, John, who is a carpenter and he also graciously helped him build them. Once he started posting pictures on Facebook, he realized he had a good thing going. So his brother, also John, stepped in to get him more fluent with other social media sources. And then someone from Aquashella asked him if he wanted to set up a booth and that's where we met him. Rather than me telling you the story, let's have Mike tell you. Yeah, so my name is Mike, like she said, I'm from Zen Aqua. And um, we're, you know, obviously at Aquashella, Chicago. And uh, I make these custom wood stands. I don't know if, if you guys could see here. Um, it started as a quarantine project last year, and I was just making them for my own personal displays. And I would put them in these Facebook groups and uh, put them online, and like on Reddit and stuff like that. And I got a lot of attention from them. They're like very photogenic, and people are asking me, like, you know, would you ever consider selling these? Like, where could I get one? So I was toying around with the idea of you know, maybe setting up a little online business and seeing, like, testing the waters, seeing if people want to buy them. And um, I want to say back in March, I got a message on Facebook, and it was George from Coralfish 12G. A lot of you guys probably know who he is. And uh, he's like, you got some really unique stuff here. I think you would do really well at Aquashella. Come to Orlando and uh, set up a booth and just see how you guys do. And. Uh, you know, I got all excited. I was like, wow, I never talked with a, you know, a big YouTuber like that before. So I got all excited and I was like, of course, I can't say no to that. So, um, you know, we just started making these displays and we wanted to put on a good show. And, uh, you know, everyone really loved them down in, uh, in Orlando. So that's how we're here up in Chicago right now. It's basically like whatever I could get. Um, I get it local on Long Island where I am for right now. Um, so like, this is like a piece of sassafras. Uh, you know, we got like a cherry wood over there, maple, oak, you know, whatever, uh, whatever types of wood I could get. And um, it's, I like using the different types of wood because it makes them all unique and like individual. So that was part of the idea of wanting to make these is like make them where every person that gets one gets something that's like a little different than the, you know, the next person that gets one and just keep it unique. And that's really a lot of the appeal in it is that they're, you know, they're unique and they're photogenic and every, like if someone gets one, they can say like, that's mine, you know, and they could decorate it however they want. Use fake plants, real plants, aquascape it, you know, and I would say the longest one would probably be this one in the front here, just because there's a, a lot of different things going on. You got the big wood base here. Um, 
and then this we kind of had to make ourselves and uh, you know we, we retrofitted the light onto the piece of wood and we got this nice ADA tank here. This is actually one of my personal ones, one of the first ones that I made last year. Uh, I had this set up as like a river aquascape and um, uh, I would say out of all of them this probably took the longest. What really takes the longest um, is a lot of this wood, it takes a long time, like you can't just cut a piece of wood and use it because it's, it's going to be wet, it's going to crack and warp and stuff like that. So it takes a long time to dry this stuff. Um, as you can see here, some of them even get splits in it. This is something we've been experimenting with, with uh, epoxy, you know, filling the cracks in and making like a nice glossy finish. These have like a, a different, like a polyurethane finish. It'd be like a, you know, like a waterproof finish on it. And, um, you know, we're just, right now we're like experimenting. This all came on to us like very quickly in the last couple months, so we're just trying to put it all together, you know? So here it is, a five gallon beta bowl that's a one of a kind. This aquarium is sitting in the middle of my plant room where I have my collection, and as you can see, it fits right in. I think the female Dumbo beta I picked out of our inventory is going to be thrilled with her new environment. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this scape and I hope you like it as much as I do. A special thank you to the guys at Zen Aqua. You are amazing and so talented. I'm gonna put the links for all their social media in the description below, and you can go check it out and see all the other things that they make. And don't forget to check out Joanna Escape on Primetime Aquatics. Have a wonderful day.